As an American activist, it is my privilege, yes. it is my honor yes. to welcome a lifelong activist for yes. Palestinian rights in the United States. Please welcome Dr. Brother Cornell West. Let the word go forth here and now that we stand in profound solidarity with our precious Palestinians now in Gaza and we will be in solidarity until death. We want to send first a direct message to our precious Palestinians who are undergoing this vicious genocidal attack and ethnic cleansing assault. We see you, we love you, we are in solidarity with you, and we're going to do all that we can do to make sure a spotlight remains on you as you continue to have vision, as you continue to have organization, and as you continue to have strength of resilience and resistance. I am blessed to be here in Edinburgh. I didn't know when I was coming that I would be with all of you wonderful ones. But I'm blessed to be here. And I bring with me a great legacy because I come from a people who for 400 years have been chronically hated and yet respond with a profound revolutionary and radical love. That's Martin Luther King Jr. That's Fannie Lou Hamer. That's Ella Baker. That's John Coltrane's Love Supreme. That's Donnie Hathaway. That's my tradition. And when my dear brother Martin Luther King said injustice, Anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. That means I don't care what color you are, what gender you are, what region you are, what nation you are. You're a human being and we stand in deep solidarity with you. I come from a people for 400 years who have been terrorized and we teach the world so much about freedom. Freedom of mind, freedom of soul, freedom of political struggle. That's very important. Why is that very important? Because we're at a moment now that if we have indifference to those who are suffering, and the great Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel used to say, indifference to evil is more insidious than evil itself. Shatter the indifference, shatter the callousness. And my dear brother Edward Zaid, who I love so deeply and knew him for 40 years, give it up for the great Edward Zaid. And with our solidarity, we'll shake up the world. And you know and I know, this is a global awakening. Every corner of the globe is saying, That our precious Palestinian baby has exactly the same value as a baby anywhere in the world, be it Scotland, be it Ethiopia, be it Guatemala, be it America, be it Japan. This is profoundly moral. And I'm the first to say that my own government suffers from moral bankruptcy and spiritual obscenity by enabling genocide, by enabling ethnic cleansing. And that is key, Colonel. That's the fact. is with the European nations. Shame on you. Shame on you. You don't speak for us. No way. No way. No way. And we take the kind of moral and spiritual stand that says what? If these were... Jewish brothers and sisters undergoing genocide, we would be here raising our voices. If there were Armenian, we would be raising our voices. If there were Tutu, we'd be raising our voices. We raise our
our voices high because for too long, precious Palestinian brothers and sisters have seen their suffering rendered invisible and we will shatter that silence, shatter that invisibility. That's why we're here and let us continue to raise our voices and let us ensure that we have a strong moral character and spiritual witness even given our critique of the vicious forms of imperialism and settler colonialism, even given our vicious critique of predatory capitalist processes taking place, because don't lose sight of the organized greed that goes hand in hand with the institutionalized hatred. We're talking about economic structures at work here that are pushing folk in such a way that they think that they can get away with killing 15,500 precious Palestinian babies just counted. We say no, 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 no. And in the end, for me, I'm calling for a Palestinian dignity, a Palestinian equality, a Palestinian safety, a Palestinian security, that goes hand in hand with a Jewish dignity, yes. a Jewish equality, yes. a Jewish security, yes. a Jewish safety. Yes. This is a human thing all the way down, but we're starting on the side of those who are being pushed with genocidal forces and facilitated by my own president. Yes. Shame on you. My own president by war criminal you are shame on you not just him the vice president sister harris war criminal Kirby, sullivan austin i go right down the line and i say the same thing in new york and chicago and in harlem where i live which is the chocolate side of new york city as i say in edinburgh because the truth is the truth is the truth and the condition of truth is to allow suffering to speak. And justice is, is justice is justice and justice is what love looks like in public. Yeah. God bless you.